So, uh, I defined my welcome function, or defined my welcome function even, and now I've also defined my guess function. So, and there you can see it's called to guess. So what happens when you do it when this function is called is it allows, you can tell you in the comments and out, um, I've brought the globals in again of the player guess, the player name, and the random number, those global variables, which we defined at the very start, which lets this function access those and, uh, and adjust them, or update them, I should say. And now the player guess is an input from um, the player itself. So what's your guess? So that hasn't changed. And again, I print, well, player name, your guess was, and what your guess was. So the guess is now broken into this function as well. And then if we run the program, it's still going to look the same. What's your name? Fred. 22. Oh, the number was 63. So the program hasn't changed at all. The only thing that's changed at the moment is the fact that I've turned these things into functions as opposed to just a linear program which runs. There is a reason for this, and I'm getting to that in any, any minute now. Um, the next thing is we're going to have to create a function um, for checking if the play is correct. And this is where the game starts to get interesting, and this is where it makes it a lot faster for us to program.